Hi and welcome to Call Your Damn Jets. Um, today I'm going to talk about DoorDash. Um, we've been using them through two different companies. We use them through Walmart and we use them through Silver Diner. Uh, Walmart and Silver Diner have subcontracted DoorDash for the deliveries. So what happens is that if we go to the Walmart website and we ask for grocery delivery, they're going to contact DoorDash and give them our delivery and DoorDash is going to come deliver to our door. And uh, if we go with Silver Diner, we go to the restaurant page and uh, order food. Uh, the delivery is through their website, but they subcontract the delivery to DoorDash. And um, since the start of the pandemic, uh, well, it was not at the very start, but close to the start of the pandemic, we've been we've been very careful because uh, my wife is in the age range that is at risk, and uh, I developed cancer during the pandemic, so um, I've had to um, be careful not to. Um, be exposed to people as much as possible so we get our deliveries uh, delivered and when we order food usually it's from silver diner and it's delivered uh and it's been well it's been going well so far but in the past few weeks and even months uh we've been starting to have troubles and um i'm going to tell you what those troubles are and what my solution is um so with Walmart, um, what happened more more recently, and it, it has happened from time to time, but it happened like four times in a row recently or five times in a row, is that we would get our delivery here and there would be one item missing. Uh, I don't know. I To tell you the truth, I don't know if the item was missing from the start or if the thing fell out in the driver's car i don't know what happened but it's annoying and i have to call walmart and tell them uh you know this thing was missing and then they issue a refund and i guess from their perspective it's like well we'll issue you a refund so no harm no foul but every time i have to get on the phone i waste time on the phone not on the phone actually it's on the chat so I waste time on the chat and I have to get into contact with someone new and explain. And most of the time it goes relatively well, but I had a few customer service representatives that started asking a whole bunch of questions, uh, which was not really welcome because it just delays the inevitable, which they reimburse me. But they don't reimburse me for the time I spend complaining. Um, the other thing that has happened with deliveries and it happened, again, it's just a problem that has been happening here and there, but it's been increasing recently, is that the drivers do not seem to take a straightforward route to our house. So instead of going from Walmart, let's say Walmart, Walmart is here. And instead of coming to our house, they're they're here, and then they go there, and then they go there, and then eventually they end up at our house. And at some point, you know, I, when I realized that was happening, because the first few times it happened, I was, you know, I was on the computer trying to figure out what was going on. I was just, you know, oh, yeah, we got a notification from Walmart, our groceries on the way, and then, wow, it's taking a long time. So... When I realized that, what I started doing is to track the delivery online. Uh, they, I have a system where you see the car on a map, and I've seen cars travel into places that have nothing to do with us. Um, and the estimated time also, I've been paying more attention to that. And Walmart sends us a notification when our deliveries on the way with an estimated time and I've seen drivers blow that time you know the way it works for me they have a one hour window to deliver 
And that, that one hour window exists prior to the car leaving the store. When the car leaves the store, they send me a notification, they give me an estimated arrival time, and then that's what I work with. So if they if I say between nine and ten in the morning, you know, from the get-go is nine and ten, but until they send me the, the message saying, Well, your groceries are expected to arrive at 920. Now it's 920 that I'm expecting, not 10. 10, 10 does not appear in my equation. And this is this has been going on for more than, than a year, close to two years. So um, I go by the estimate they give me, and they give me a, a, a fair estimate. It's not like it doesn't take an hour to go from the store to here, so they don't give themselves one hour of, of time, um, and 15 minutes would be too short, uh, in my opinion, when you'd have to be really like this for, to take 15 minutes. So they give them, uh, themselves a little bit more. It might be 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I don't remember. But I go by the number they give me, and then I see, I, I track, and I see drivers going every which where, and they arrive here late. Um, I don't know what is going on at DoorDash. I did Google and I, I saw people talking about you know stacking uh, orders. Stacking orders, I think, works very, very well in a city. We're not in a city here. We're semi-rural. Or you could even say rural. We have we have neighbors that are farmers, um, and we have nine acres of land. Um, so when you do that in an environment like here, if you if you're going to stack orders, then maybe you're going to see what I'm seeing when a car going in some random direction and then heading towards us. And I have to say, I'm not happy with that. And the way I've dealt with it in the past is when I saw drivers do that, I lowered the tip. So if they think they're going to make more money by stacking orders, they're not. Um, because I, I don't want that. Um, and I did tell Walmart about it. And I haven't received a response yet from... From anybody I know they got the message uh, because that's the same way I talked to them in other cases but you know nobody seems to be uh, um, you know overly worried about it there so that's Walmart uh, and now the Silver Diner same thing with Silver Diner we've been ordering from them uh, online for a long time um, I have to say that the service has always been a little bit borderline. Um, the food arrived where it was, you know, we could eat it. It was okay, but it was getting to the point of being too cold. It was not too cold yet, but it was getting there. Enough for me to notice. So that's the best service we got from DoorDash. Uh, from Silver Liner through DoorDash, ordering food. Um, the last delivery was a complete fiasco. Uh, the last delivery we got from them, uh, I, I also tracked it because we got a message and everything. And there was a time that was given initially and I don't remember exactly how it works with Silver Diner because I don't order from there as often as from Walmart. But from Silver Diner, the delivery time, the estimated delivery time on DoorDash's website, because this is where it sent us when, when I wanted the tracking, the estimated delivery time kept going up. Uh, and that's uh, pretty stupid. Um, they probably think we're morons and we're going to just not pay attention and be happy with whatever time we get, but that's not the case. So the driver was late. I saw her. I looked at her on the map. 
She went on the other side of the of the highway. We have a highway nearby. She went on the other side of the highway. It has nothing to do with our house. I don't know if her GPS was broken, if what problem there was. I don't know if the, she was stacking orders. I'm thinking stacking orders is more likely than a broken GPS, though maybe our GPS was broken, and you're going to know in a minute why I'm saying that. Um, so she was late to start with. Uh, and then I got a call that she couldn't find our house. Think about that for a minute. For over a year, we've had every week deliveries from Walmart. Not one time has a driver said, I cannot find your house. I think the most that has happened is a driver would pass by our house and go to the end of our, we're in a, a cute sack, uh, which for new Americans uh, born here is probably an, I, I don't remember how, cul de sac, uh, whatever. Uh, so the, the, there was, a, the, they probably went past our house into the, the dead end and then turned around and came back. And then they noticed our mailbox and they took the right driveway. This lady could not find our house. Um, but no one else has that problem. Um, I did not accept it. You know, if you have a GPS these days, at most, I, I'm telling you at most, you're going to go past our house, you're going to turn back and you're going to find it. Um, the GPSs don't send people every which way when they look for our house. Um, Eventually, I saw a notification that the delivery had been made. It was fairly late. It was dark outside. I don't know where she left it because it was not left at the doorstep of our, of our house. It could have been left at the mailbox. But consider this. It's dark outside. We do not see the mailbox from our house. I said nine acres earlier almost nine acres. We do not see the mailbox from our house. And the mailbox, I calculated it at 600 feet from the front door of our house. Actually, probably even more because I think I just calculated the length of the driveway, not the length to walk from between the driveway and the front, and the front door. So at least 600 feet. There's no way at the time she was delivering that that I was going to go walk to the street to try to find it. And for all I knew, she could have just dumped it somewhere else. Um, but the next day, I did get a call from our neighbors who said, hey, you, there's a delivery at the mailbox. What the hell is going on? And uh, yeah, that was... Uh, that was DoorDash. Uh, and I can show it to you. And here it is. Uh, there's a silver diner bag by the right by the side of our box, and the other mailbox is the neighbor's mailbox, and there's silver diner right there. Um, that's how she delivered it at the mailbox. That's not where they should be delivering it. Whoops. They should be delivering it. Um, to our front door. And that was the next day that I discovered that she, that's where she left it. Uh, the night of the problem, I did call the manager at Silver Diner in Frederick. The guy who answered was immediately defensive. Oh, where did you order? Was it on another website? Uh, on what website did you order it? Was it on? A, she was trying to deflect to another website, like a DoorDash problem or someone else's problem. I said, no, I ordered it from your website. I don't get to pick on their website. It's delivery is through DoorDash or nothing. Or otherwise, I have to go pick it up or I have to eat in the restaurant. So if it's delivery is DoorDash, I don't choose the company that I'm going to work with. I ordered it on their website. Um, the guy started harping on the estimated delivery time. You know, he got my name and then he started harping on the estimated delivery time. I had to interrupt him and tell him that the 
stupid estimated delivery time kept changing. And this is where the problem is because you tell, you tell your client, you're, I'm going to do this by that time. If the estimated time keeps changing, there is a problem. That guy would not hear about it. I told him, fuck you, and I hung up. And this is the end, basically. I have a solution to deal with those morons. And the solution is, well, first of all, they both know about the problem. And I told Walmart early on, I said, if you guys don't do anything, you're going to lose clients because DoorDash is acting in a way that is pissing away the goodwill that you've built. The other thing is Silver Diner. They've got at least two messages from me uh, saying that the delivery was not acceptable. Um, none of them has responded. Uh, and the only response I have from Silver Diner was the interaction with the manager at the Frederick restaurant, which was awful. Um, so right now at this moment, what I'm telling people, what I'm telling Walmart and what I'm telling Silver Diner and what I'm telling any business that I do business with is that if you deliver through DoorDash, we are not going to do business with you or we're going to use you in a way that we don't have to deal with DoorDash. So with Walmart, I could order stuff that will be shipped through FedEx or UPS or something like that. And it's come to my house. I don't have to deal with DoorDash. Fine. I could go to their store too, but I don't want to right now because of the stupid pandemic. Um, Silver Diner, right now we're not going to do business with them for the foreseeable future because the only way we can get our food, well, I could go pick it up, I suppose. Um, but I'd rather get delivery. And really, we have we have choices. We can order from pizzerias that are nearby. There are at least two pizzerias that we can deli uh, get delivery from. Uh, I think we could also pro possibly from other restaurants, but I'm not sure. But at least we have the pizzerias. And if I'm going to have to, have to order pizza for a number of months, I don't care. You know, normally I eat more. I eat more than just Silver Diner stuff. We go to different restaurants when there's no pandemic and I'm not ill with cancer. Um, but we ordered for Silver Diner because they were offering delivery. Uh, so I could have pizza for a while and be perfectly fine with it. Um, so yeah. So right now, what we're telling people is if you. You subcontract your deliveries through DoorDash. We are not doing business with you. And Walmart has already happened last week. We ordered from a local grocery store instead of ordering from Walmart because of the bad experience with DoorDash. And I'm not calling DoorDash. You may be wondering, why are you not you know, getting on the horn with DoorDash? I'm not getting on the horn with DoorDash. Because the DoorDash is not my choice. It's Walmart's choice. DoorDash is Walmart's choice and it's Silver Diner's choice. It's not my choice. So I'm not going to call DoorDash and tell them that they are screwing up. It's Walmart and Silver Diner's role in this fuck up to go tell DoorDash, hey, what's going on? You're costing us customers. It's really sad, especially with Walmart, where we've been doing all those deliveries for so long that now we're not going to do deliveries of groceries to our house anymore because of DoorDash. Think about it for a second. When you, when you as a company, you subcontract, your service to another company, then that other company can screw you by screwing the customer. That's what happens. 
Um, so yeah, uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, DoorDash, they're out there, but I don't want to deal with them. Uh, maybe, as I said earlier, maybe this is not the right environment for them. Maybe, and I'm I'm fine with having people telling you, oh, but we in DC or in New York or in Los Angeles, we use DoorDash all the time and we are happy with them. Fine. I think the the stacking of orders in that environment might work very well for DoorDash. Here it doesn't work. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what I think about DoorDash. Uh, you know, I can only hope that someone is going to wake up over there and decide that it's not okay to stack orders and screw screw the the customer. No, because really, if I order pizza, let's go back to the restaurant example. If I order pizza, the guy from the pizza place is going to come to my house. It's not going to go and it's going to follow the estimate that they gave, they've given me. Um, it's not going to be all over the place. When I order pizza, it's like this. I order pizza, it arrives on time. I've never had a problem with, with pizza not being here on time. So if DoorDash decides that they're going to send their drivers all over the map and eventually your order is going to arrive, well, the end result is we don't order through businesses that force us to use DoorDash. So yeah, that's my opinion of DoorDash. So you can leave comments. Uh, you can thumb up, thumb down. Um, you can subscribe to the channel if you want to subscribe to the channel. Um, so uh, this is it for now, and I'll see you some other time.